My name is Andrew Bancroft. I'm an ACB here at Goodby Silverstein. I've been here for about five and a half years. I'm originally from China, Maine. My name is Leslie Pyle. I'm a creative assistant here. And I work with Zach Canfield, Jamie Barrett, and Christian Haas currently. In the summer, I'll also be picking up Rich Silverstein and Keith Anderson. So I will have my docket full this summer. I've been at Goodby for four years, and I am from Oklahoma. You know, I, I, I kind of do. Uh, I guess I sometimes go by Jelly Donut, um, but that was came before uh, <laughs> being here at, at Goodby. The nickname Jelly Donut came from my mother, actually, when I was a fat baby, and then it became uh, my rapping name. Looking at it, I one of my job criteria uh, when I was in college trying to determine what I was going to be was that I wanted to wear tennis shoes and jeans and not have to think about what I would wear. And so advertising, it was either advertising or dental hygiene. I usually wear like a t-shirt uh, and just dress down, dirty clothing. Um, but uh, I ride my bike to work so I get sweaty on my way over here so I, you know, I'm not going to wear a shirt and tie. I love the culture here. I think it's uh, definitely creative uh, culture. I think uh, people are always making each other laugh here. Um, it's it's hardworking, but um, I think it's it's also people really want the work to be good. I could be one person in the office for the day. I think I'd have to be the guy at the front desk, the uh, security guard, um, because one, I don't know, security seems pretty tight enough here and it seems like you could just kind of chill out and listen to the radio but then you get to see everybody coming and going and here over here all the I think of all the scandalous things I've said waiting for that elevator he just hears them all if I could be one person in the office for a day it would be Jamie Barrett um, you probably can't tell this because I'm sitting down but I'm only five feet tall Jamie is six foot six so not only is he a super funny super smart boisterous personality he also has a vantage point I have never been able to experience in my lifetime. There are times when you're working weekends and you're working late nights. Uh, it's just inevitable. That's what you have to do to get things good, um, get things finished for a deadline. But then there'll be other times when things are really chill and they're relaxed. And if you want to grab a beer at 4 or 5 p.m. instead, um, or go for a bike ride, like that's it's. As long as you're getting your work done, you know, I, th I think uh, the agency respects your time. My agency wish list, um, it's funny you asked me that, came up in my review and my answer was I want to go to a shoot because I've been in advertising for 13 years and I've never been to a real live, live action commercial shoot with like, you know, A-list director and all that kind of stuff. I've been to the smaller stuff. but. Um, so I get to go uh, the week of June 18th. Uh, I'm going to go with Jamie Barrett and um, for a Comcast shoot, and I'm really excited. Mm, do I have a role model in the office? You know, I, I think it's um, the the partners here are really smart. So when you see them in action, uh, they've been doing this for a long time, and when you see them taking your work and making it better. Um, or selling through an idea, pulling some like Jedi mind tricks to make sure a good idea goes through. That's pretty impressive. My advice for someone who would want to work at Gibby Silverstein and Partners would be when you interview with someone, make sure that you ask a lot of questions and not only questions that you prepare, prepared ahead of time, but questions that arise from the interview because that makes the person know that you've been listening. Um, we want to see people who are curious. Um, if you're interviewing for an account management job, uh, curiosity is a huge, huge benefit. Um, and also, our, our team here likes to see um, restaurant wait service experience or sales associate experience on your resume because it shows that you already have customer service. And a lot of students will take it off because they don't think it's relevant, but we find it highly relevant here. Um, and as far as being a creative here, 
you know, your book, it has to be tip top. And I get a lot of calls from people who don't have portfolios and, you know, they just, they just know good be so they're calling and, and not to demean them anyway, they're just ignorant. They just, they don't know what it takes to actually get a job here. But I, what I tell them is we recruit internationally for internships in the creative department. So you really have to be top of your game. The bar is just so high. It's so high here. I learn something new every day. Not to be cliche, but that's really the truth. I mean, I can't go into a meeting and not learn something. I mean, it, it, people, the breadth of knowledge that people have in this agency that doesn't have anything to do with advertising is astounding. The best part of working here, uh, again, is that the creative is, is really at the heart of it. It's the nucleus of the whole place. Um, and there's uh, a lot of really fucking funny people here. Um, funny, smart, creative people. And, you know, it's, it's hard to not be psyched about walking down the hall and realizing that, oh, that person's an amazing uh, graffiti artist. This person has an art opening in East Bay tomorrow. This person is making the best dick joke I've ever heard <laughs> and <laughs> making me laugh my ass off during my work day.